This is DG Vision Network. Experience the revolution. F. John Bray, represented here by his uh, able representative, uh, executive vice chairman and uh, CEO of Nigerian Communications Commission, also represented here, executive chairman of Economic and uh, Financial Crimes Commission, Mr. Ibrahim Magu, represent, yes. and uh, the chairman in council and the president of uh, Computers Professionals uh, Registration Council of Nigeria, Professor Charles Wadia, also a leader represented here. Special guests, invited guests, members of uh, Cyber Security Expert Association of Nigeria, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this year's Cyber Secure Nigeria Conference. This is the first of its kind and the first one we are having in uh, Lagos with the team mitigating cyber threats in digital age. The conference encapsulates various hot buttons topics on cyber security and aims to set precedents for constructive debates at this critical junction when cyber crime pervasiveness is a growing concern. Cyber Secure Nigeria Conference is perhaps the preeminent cyber security conference in Nigeria and has been consistent with topical cyber security deliberations for the past four years. Cyber risk are growing and are changing rapidly. Every day, hackers are working on new techniques for getting through the security of government and organizations. They are doing this so that they can cause damage, access sensitive data, and steal intellectual property. As old sources of cyber threats are fading, new sources are emerging. Cyber criminals, they are stepping up their games, and data breaches are becoming both common and devastating, locally and internationally. Just recently, SecureWorks counter threat unit researchers, they released a report on a group of Nigerian cyber criminals could name Gold Galeo. They are targeting industry, maritime industry, where BEC, a business email compromise, to do victims into partnering away with millions of dollars. It is estimated that between June 2017 and January 2018, the cyber criminals attempted to steal upward of $3.9 million, and on average, Fraud attempt steps level may reach about $6.9 million per year, and all these are originating from Nigeria. Just two days ago, Palo Alto Networks published a paper detailing the continued growth and increasingly sophistication of Nigerian cyber criminals, taking bigger part of $3 billion BEC related uh, losses. So researchers at uh, Palo Alto Network have been conducting this uh, small group of criminals. They have been tracking them for a while. And they are codenamed Silver Terrier. These guys are conducting hacking campaigns against targets around the world. The cyber criminals have been attributed to conducting about 181,000 attacks using 15 different families of malware in the last one year. Over the past 12 months, the group has fired up an average of 17,600 spam emails per month, representing about 45% increase from 2016. It is no longer news that millions of Nigerians' data were allegedly harvested from Facebook and used in the targeted online campaign with the aim of influencing the outcome of 2015 election. Cambridge Analytical, the now dissolved 
analytics and marketing firm based in UK was fingered in this scandal. That also involved allegation of acting President Mohamed Buhari's email, who was at that time the presidential candidate of ABC. The firm was allegedly paid two million thousand pounds, that's about two point eight million dollars, by an unnamed Nigerian billionaire just to orchestrate a ferocious campaign against President Mohamed Buhari. So as the uh, 2019 election is fast approaching, we will continue to witness online targeting using social media to influence voters through fake news. This, again, should serve as a reminder of the long overdue data privacy and prevention law in Nigeria. We could see what's happening in other parts of the world. There's GDPR in the Europe, and some other countries are also coming up with uh, data protection law. So it's about time that Nigeria have its own uh, data protection law. So the global cyber crime damages, which were about 3 trillion in 2015, will reach about six trillion dollars by the end of 2021. That's a 100% increase in just five years. This is according to cyber security ventures. Unfortunately, over 85% of uh, organizations and government agencies in Nigeria they lack cyber security plan and strategy, while majority are unsure of whether or not they have been the victim of cyber crime. If there was not a whistleblower, we wouldn't have even known that the president, the email was hacked. You know, it was the whistleblower at the Cambridge Analytical that let us, yeah, you know, alerted us to this. So a lot of cyber crime are going on, but a lot of people are not even aware that they are victims of uh, cyber crime. So while attackers are using new tactics and tricks, their overall strategies uh, remain relatively unchanged. Understanding them is critical to knowing how to defend against cyber attacks. This conference aims to prepare participants through workshops, plenary, technical, and breakout sessions on how to mitigate cyber threats in digital age. The conference is packed with very rich cyber security topics to be delivered by distinguished uh, speakers. I hope you will all enjoy the conference and bring up with you an unforgettable memory. Thank you. This is DG Vision Network. Experience the revolution.